I'm certain that many of you have been to a quilt show and have admired the sea of finely crafted quilts. In every show that I've attended, the best of show quilt has always been displayed front and center. Ever wonder how judges choose the best of the best? I caught up with one of the judges at the Quilt Expo in Madison, Wisconsin, who explains the process. We're here at the Quilt Expo in Madison, Wisconsin to show you the best of show quilt to share how a quilt is judged, why this quilt was chosen as best to show is Carol Butsky, uh, authorized quilt appraiser and judge. Welcome. Thank you. I'm glad to be here and I'm glad to be part of the judging team for this show, which has gotten certainly national, international acclaim with the quilts that we're seeing here every year. Uh, I am AQS certified quilted textile appraiser and the hat I was wearing yesterday during the judging was that of uh, National Quilting Association certified judge. And this was the best of show that we've chosen. And it's amazing by Mary Bouvier from Greenwood, Indiana. And it's called Once Upon a Time. And it is a storybook. You can see that it, the whole structure of the quilt is based on an open storybook uh, with this, the uh, a bottom part there where the book is open and laid open and it's a fantasy uh, which we can all relate to the unicorns yes. and the castles etc and she's done an amazing job both in style and and in design but also in her workmanship which is pristine it's needle turned applique for the most part the mane on the unicorn the body the flowers all turned under hand stitched it's phenomenal workmanship. And then there is satin stitching, traditional applique. Carol, point out some of the things that tell our viewers, you know, what is so striking about this quilt. It's the layer of detailing. Uh, each item that she has gone to, she has, has taken to the nth degree of, of, of looking at detail. This attention to detail is so wonderful. Uh, we have a variety of fabrics, including uh, a very raised fabric here that is used for those particular flowers. We have overlays of netting for the, uh, the little fairy's wings. We have a gnome down there, which represents her husband. Uh, we have a lot of metallic work, a metallic satin stitch around the flowers, which is exceedingly difficult to execute. Uh, but this is her own drawing, her own work. The, the tiny, tiny stippling that's done on the borders or in each area is phenomenal. I, I, it's minute. <laughs> I, I, I just, I couldn't possibly begin to do this type of quilting, so I just admire it. And I do too. I think it's, it's phenomenal and it's, in, it's most enjoyable to be able to enjoy this and be able to have people to enjoy her work. Now, you know, it's called Once Upon a Time, and her selection of fabrics really carries through the theme. It does indeed, and she picked a lot of fabrics that were representational. The walkway to the castle, the castle itself, the flowers, uh, the shading of the flowers, and some of them are three-dimensional in, in that the petals are, are pre-folded. Um, the, as we talked about, the gossamer wings on the, uh, on the little fairy. So everything was taken into context of what she needed to go do and what she needed to find to be able to get the right thing to, to explain what she was doing in her composition. When we talk about quilts, some are bed quilts, some are wall quilts, and this certainly is an art quilt, and it's not your grandmother's type of quilting. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, but uh, that's what's so exciting about quilting, because it's constantly moving forward. And uh, now we're looking into the modern quilts, and that whole movement is, is gaining momentum. Uh, but it, they're, the wonderful things, just even in this show, the variety of things that are here, uh, the, what people are doing with fabric, what they are doing with different styles, uh, just blows one's mind. So if you're interested in seeing what's new in quilting, where you may want to go forward, my suggestion and our suggestion to you is go to a quilt show because you will be inspired, you will get pick up some tidbits. I'd never be able to quilt like Mary Bouvier, but I am inspired by her work of art and her selection of fabric, and I'm sure you are too, Carol. Absolutely, and you always learn something new when you look at the pieces. Very well put. Well, thank you for being our guest. Thank you for being a judge. And you have an admirable position, but a difficult position, I'd say. Indeed. Okay. Well, thank you, Carol. Thank you. Thank, thank you for being my guest. 
Special thanks to Carol Butsky for giving us insight into Mary Bouvier's quilt, Once Upon a Time. It's an amazing quilt. Well, remember that you can rewatch this episode and four seasons of Sewing with Nancy programs online at nancyzeman.com. At that site, you'll also be able to follow my blog and connect with me on other social media platforms. Next time on Sewing with Nancy, you'll learn more of my favorite handbag sewing techniques. I hope you've enjoyed this program and will join me next time. Bye for now.